Good evening, welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome. Uh, my name's Anna. The video I'm doing here, I'm going to show some jewelry that I picked up today. Eva and I were out and about. We went to a few stores, and this is what I found. If you see anything that you would like to purchase from what I'm about to show, you may email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. I always put my email the, it down under my description section. It's the first line, so you can always go in there and find it as well. So the jewelry that I show here, and I will be doing another video Monday or Tuesday, depending on when my jewelry comes in through the mail. That jewelry from today and from Monday or Tuesday, whenever I do the video, will be available at my Wednesday evening sale. I come on at 8 p.m. Eastern time, Wednesday evening, and I do an auction and mainly a buy it now some auction items. And I also come on at 12 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays. And I, you know... It's kind of, I call it my thrifty Thursday bargain days, pretty much. But anyways, 8 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, February the 1st, I will be on. And Thursday, February the 2nd at 12 p.m. Eastern time, I'll be on. Like I said, this jewelry, some of this jewelry will come Wednesday. Some will come Thursday, that that I don't pre-sell. <clears throat> and whatever comes in Monday or Tuesday, I'm waiting for, you know, the video will probably end up being Tuesday afternoon. But, um... That jewelry would be at the sales as well, as well as other things. But anyways, let me get started showing. Again, if you see anything you want, you may contact me. I will start with these. Look at this. This is signed. R Shields. And it's sterling silver and turquoise and amber. It's really cool. Kind of. My daughter said it looked like a Roblox character. This is a, look, he has feathers or something thing going on there he's pretty cool i think it may be robert shield i'm not sure it is sterling though and it's signed back there like i said it looks vintage by the look of the, the clasp pretty cool he's about three inches i think i thought it was amazing probably paid more than i should have for it but look at it his uh legs and arms dangling he's his little hands they actually like have some kind of writing on them or something. Can't really see what it is, but it's pretty amazing. Sterling silver. I thought he was cool. There's that. I have a sterling and turquoise fly because I figured why not. Look at it. Turquoise sterling. It's a fly. Um, I don't know if it's signed. I haven't really seen, but I, I know it's turquoise. I can tell by looking at it. And I scratch tested it briefly, and it is uh, sterling. I thought she was nice. This is a JJ. That's a real mirror back there. Very beautiful sitting at her. Um, I think it's JJ1988 sitting at her vanity. I've sold a number of them. Like three other ones, that's a number, I guess. Number enough. Okay, so I thought that was nice. These actually are Ross Simmons. They need cleaned up. Ross Simmons uh, sterling uh, dangle earrings. Little lever back. And they need, need wiped up. I didn't clean them up at all. Cool, I think. Um, these are Zuni. Um, these are sterling. Very nice, lovely sterling and turquoise. They have the saw um, tooth or whatever they call that there. Um, and it's Sterling UGB back there. I did look it up there. They're a good, uh, good, um, go for a good price. Look how pretty. I see the like sky blue and green mixed and that's how they're inlaid. I don't know if you call that sawtooth or not. Am I making up? I know it's saw something. Very nice, though. Again, signed in the back. UGB Sterling. These are, um, they're nice. That was a good find for me today. Um, I, let me show some of the bracelets. This is Swarovski, and this is actually a signed with a swan. It's a, a box clasp. Yeah, that comes out. I push it, comes out, and there's multiple colors of, uh, of crystals you've got red purple and green Swarovski again there's the swan signature this is sterling silver and glass very beautiful this is more hair is a layered glass right there that one and then there's the cubes 
But I don't know if they're crystal or glass. I can't tell. I don't think they have a coating on them. No, there's no coating. I'm calling them glass. Possibly crystal. I don't know. Um, I'd have to look at them closer. So if I really didn't look at stuff real close, I mean, I picked it up and I had night. I was like, I think it's nice. I'll get it. But sterling silver, very nice. I like the layered glass here. See how on the ends you have like that going on. And this is sterling silver. A very beautiful look. Now I'm confused on if it's moonstone or cat's eye. I didn't know that's probably ridiculous, but I am. I can't tell. Here, let's look at it this way. I'm not sure. I, I will be. I'll find out. But very lovely. Sterling silver. Dainty and beautiful. It has a spring ring. It's pretty. Little dainty bracelet. This is vintage blown glass. Brass uh, spring ring. I that's the silver. I don't know. I'll test it. Maybe they both are, and the other one's filthy. Don't really know. But nice, nice bracelet. Very beautiful, actually. And it has these piece like it has the caps. I think they're brass. I like the yellow color. You see, this is layered. This is more than one layer of glass as well, and it's hand blown. Okay, so um, my daughter may come and ask me something. I'm sure that's okay. These are nice. These look like Sabika. I don't know who the maker is on them, but I thought they were nice. Look, there's kind of an upside down. Uh, this one's upside down. That one's not. Um, rhinestone. They're pierced. They're nice. That looks like it shines like milk glass. And that you see the colors. I think they're pretty. There's those. These are jadeite and sterling. They're signed 925 and have an A on them, I believe, back here. I'll look at them closer. But these are parasite is jadeite purple. Jadeite. Okay, there's those. Let's see. Let me show these rings. This ring. It's really nice. Hexagon, right? Six sides. Cornelian, signed sterling up there. I really like it. It doesn't quite fit my ring finger. It's like a five and a quarter, I think, on this. Yeah, look, it's like, it's kind of thick. It's like a five and a half, but it's more like a five and a quarter. It's really nice. This is an artisan. It kind of looks modernist. I don't know. I can't really call it that. Um, but look at it. It's an artisan ring. You can, I can say that. It's all one piece. It is soldered on there. It's really nice, I think. Lovely carnelian. Closed back. Okay, well, it's on the band. That's a sterling. Looks like a um, one of those things you get screws a lug nut or something doesn't it but it's sterling silver i test it it's got a good weight to it and i really like it. it it is my taste i like that look maybe a five and a half let's see and i think it's like a Yeah, I'd say more of a five and a quarter because of where it's at up there. You know, because it's like a kind of thick band. This is heavy. It's a heavy piece of sterling. See the size of it? The carnelian. carnelian shouldn't weigh that much. I'm going to weigh it because I'm curious. It feels pretty heavy. It feels like it's like 10 to 12 grams. It's really like a nice, um, hefty, well-made ring. I paid up a little bit for that. It is 11.3 grams on that. It's really nice, I think. This is gold electroplated, I get. I think I was hoping it was gold because it kind of looks real, but look. It's nice. It looks like the real deal, but I don't think so. I'll further test it to make sure. Let me size it. It's it's wide band. It's rated right to six. Yeah, I'd say six and three quarters, the way it fits me. It's fitting pretty comfortable. So. It's nice. But I do believe it's electroplated. I have to look at it further. It's it's a quality made ring though. It looks real, don't you think? I looked, I Google lens it and like two thousand, three thousand dollar rings were coming up. Look at this. 
This is nice. Those are original Marcus sites and I think this is vintage. I'll show you the back. All the Marcus sites are there. They all look original. It is a partially pronged type of setting on these Marcus sites, which I know they don't do that any longer. At least I, I don't believe they do. I think that's, um, they're partially pronged and they're all there. They're, it's beautiful. Look at the back. It's signed Sterling. This is a dainty little ring. I think this one's a five, maybe smaller. It's signed Sterling on the other side. That's the back. Do you see? All original rhinestones. Oh, let me measure. It doesn't help me putting it on my finger. Yeah, it's very small. It has the inside, though, that makes you see it's like at a four, but it goes in a little bit, and it fits quite comfortable on my pinky. Well, it probably would at a four anyways, because there, I believe. Um, with the inside go dipping in like that, it would probably, like, I can never see it. It's definitely, it's right on a four. Can't even get it over, uh, <laughs> can't even get it over that knuckle. It's small. It's beautiful. This is a vintage ring. This is well made. Let me, I'm really sorry about that. I, I'm not going to correct that, though. Hopefully you don't mind if it's, it's bothersome. Sorry. <laughs> I shaked my whole, <laughs> I shaked the whole screen. I'm like, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, let me quit being goofy. Um, beautiful. Beautiful, lovely. Marcus sites that are half, like, one, one's pronged. I really like it. I, I'm contemplating keeping this for a pinky ring for myself. I don't know. I want that one, too, but I, I don't need it. I have the one that's, like, the fingers or the branches. It's a... It's a current, I don't know what the stone is in my other one. All right. So, uh, those are the rings I found. Nice, I think. That one, I believe, is heavy electroplated. That's a beautiful vintage um, sterling silver and Mark Sites. These, this one's more sterling so is that. This one's artisan. I don't know how old this one is. Um, vintage, maybe antique. I don't know. I'm just going to say vintage because I'm not sure. All right, so I showed the earrings up to there. Um, these are, this is some stone here. I have a rose quartz. This is a strand. It's pretty long, probably about 28 inches. This is nice. These are nice sized pieces of rose quartz, rose quartz strand. I have a long amethyst strand as well, amethyst in that. And then a very long freshwater pearl, kind of like brokey. We have the peacock pearls, freshwater culture pearls, and um, Claire, this is a very long strand. It's single, looks single knotted. It's knotted in between each pearl. These are odd shaped. They are not circular, but um, nice, nice, nice long pearls. Probably like 60 inches. So amethyst, rose quartz, and that. I found that today. Um, I, have, I have stuff coming through the mail too. This is amazing. This comes without the torque. This is my sterling plate at torque this i believe it's lapis and it's sterling and it's big that's like four let's measure it um it's like four inches i think that's a guess i, I could be off the, the cross from the bail down is three and a quarters the cross itself is three so from here down looking it's a fairly big bail you have space sterling silver and I think it's lapis. It's stone. It's nice, I think. I'll weigh that later. It has a rather big amount, a large amount of stone in it, though. So, you know, it's... Um, like, I have some shoes back there. I'm going to show those, too. They're really cute. Little things that stay on your... You know, for decoration or whatever. These are amazing. All right. I love that. I love it. I really like it. I'm going to say I love it. Um, okay. This is, I have stuff on a tray too. I gotta get moving. All right, I'm gonna take my time. People stay as long as they want, right? This is, this, this is amazing. Okay. In the sense of being beautiful. I can put the ring sizer away. I'm done with it. Look at this necklace. This is double knotted. And look at the glass. This is what I call vitriol glass. It's like the old rosary beads. That's how when I think of glass, vitriol glass, because, uh, I'm being harassed by somebody trying to steal my information right as I... When a video comes on, like in my Yahoo 
my uh, PayPal email address or like trying to harass me, like trying to get me to give him my information. It's funny. Okay, but anyways, this is very long, definitely flapper length. And I believe this is strung on silk. I believe this, I don't know how old it is, but um, I wouldn't call this a B. I call it different color, different levels um, of the vitreo glass. I've got some that's kind of clear, some that's solid. And different colors, different shades. It's beautiful. And it reminds me of the old rosary beads. That's how when I think of vitriol glass, that's what I, I put in my head so I can think, is this AB or is it vitriol? I wouldn't call that AB. That's beautiful, though. Very long, very lovely, very luscious. Long and luscious. How's that? Let's double up the L's. Long, luscious lovely <laughs> you know it's you can like take these like wear it long and tie it up in a knot too you know what i mean by that i they do that in a lot it's really long strand at least i think it's like 60 inches or longer i'm gonna measure it now i will later it's beautiful that's beautiful quality glass absolutely beautiful all right this is a cloisonne I don't know how old it is exactly, but that looks gold plated. It says silver on it. Um, yeah. It says silver back here. And these are cloisonne with the... I think these are all gold plated. I don't have my magnet, like, right in front of me. Let's not stick to a magnet. I know that sometimes these are, these are like... I'll test it for me as well with a gold plating over it. So, it's... I didn't look at it close enough to see if it says... It says silver. Okay. All right, and then there's these balls. Um, <laughs> the price, the same thing, I would guess. Possibly Vermeer, or just gold-plated. I'll, I'll figure that out. Pretty. Um, cloisonne necklace, vintage. Cloisonne. It's nice. Different shapes around. These also, there's smaller cloisonne, and then... There's some that are like just a cobalt blue glass right there. I have this is this is really really nice as well. Look at this. I have a bunch on a tray that I'll show. Um, I'll show my shoes first, then I'll show the stuff in the tray. This is a bunch of stone and some glass. That's glass. Like look at that root beer colored glass. We have carnelian. Um, some cherry quartz I saw in here. Really nice higher eye onyx. I believe it's onyx. I'll test it to make sure. It looks like rutilated quartz. More tiger eye. Very amazing. Long stone. And I think glass. I'm not going to call it crystal. I think it's glass. I'll test it and every, look at it and everything. There's some rutilated quartz there, I believe. Look how lovely. That's a strand. It's probably about five feet. 60 inches. Tiger eye. Carnelian. Some cherry quartz. Um, regular quartz right here. Um, the tiger eyes really look at that so that's that um and then look at these little shoes this is a little purse it's not cute this tassel needs a cling sheet attached to it i have more jewelry in a tree pretty nice i think i like its decoration look this one i want to take the lace off the back but it. it's look at that hail beautiful isn't it i don't like that piece back there Somebody probably hung us on their tree. Could do that. It's a little heavy. It's heavy. And then there's this fancy boot. Look at that. Like Our tree's still up, by the way. We're keeping up as long as we feel like it. It's in the one small room over to the side. And has Eva's... Uh, that's where her lizard's living. And her TV's there. Um, to play games. Her, it's where she had her painting stuff, too, but removed it. Look at that. That looks comfortable if it was real. <laughs> it's it's kind of cute, huh? And then there's this one that says, if the shoe fits, buy it. So that was in a bag, one of these little bags of stuff that they sell. You can um, get. I also got this as a music. Um, that is fiber optic light. I got it for a night light in my room. And it plays music. And I got it home, and it doesn't seem to be working now. I don't know if it got banged around in my car, but I will fix it. All right, so that's that stuff. 
All right, I have other things in here. Just a combination. I don't know if he's stirred. This is, look at him. <laughs> Tasmanian Devil. I think it's Sterling. I really don't know. It says Warner Bros. and something else. I have to look into it. I thought it was cute, though. Little Tasmanian Devil. I couldn't pass them off just because. Um, I This is nice. Again, I... Not again, but I don't know if that's really turquoise or dyed highlight. I have to look at it. I do some, some host stone in it. But look at the glass. It's beautiful. That's vitreo glass. And that's what I consider vitreo glass. If I'm wrong, send me an email. Um, looks like the old rosary beads, the shading. And beautiful. And I think that, is, that possibly is turquoise, but again, not convinced. Have to look at it closer. Very long. I think this is a nice necklace. You can like, oh, it's, that'll be fine. It's a sturdy necklace. Like you could double it up, not the way it is here, but this like when you wear it, see where the, this is where that goes. Like that would be on the side, but I was looking at it. Like it could be doubled up so you have like, like that, you know, but, you know, neater, obviously, but, like, you have the, the glass on the bottom and then the stone um, up top. This is long enough to be doubled. does have a, a clasp on it. It's this lobster claw. It's nice. Again, it's definitely stone. How light is stone as well? I, I don't know. Let me, let me glow it. Let me see if it glows. If it had like filler or whatever in it, I, it would glow in it. Well, I don't know if it's gonna tell me entirely. I'm sorry about that. I'll test it to see if it's dyed. Um, I can do that. I don't know. I don't think it's glowing. I'll test it later. But it's a it's a nice necklace. Look at the glass. If somebody wanted to rip this apart and re making it into something I wanted, it's it's heavy like stone. But again, how light is stone as well? I see host rock all through it. Um to look at it closer put your opinion below i don't mind i take a pit uh, people's um input and i don't get insulted as long as it's not rude <laughs> i don't mind people giving me their input criticism um constructive criticism criticism is good but anyways that's a nice necklace i think this is pretty uh, costume but lovely glass look at that looks like cadmium it's not, but it does look like it. It looks like it could be, you know what I mean? But it's faceted glass, like, it has a coating on it. Um, I don't think it's quite fire polished on this one. This is probably an AB coating put over this red glass. Very lovely glass, like reddish orange. See, look, it's different than this. Not to, okay, whatever. Anyways, it's class. I'm not an expert in that. I'm trying to learn as I go as well. Very beautiful. Sponge coral on leather. Um, this piece of sterling little sponge coral looks like a lace saver. And this is leather, suede leather. It's nice. It feels it feels very nice actually. There's that. Found that. This is glass. And it's just a little glass, simple glass necklace. Like, has a little peace sign on it. I like this one. I think it's beautiful, actually. There's that. This is all costume I'm showing now. I thought this, this got me a little excited. I don't know. It's, it's costume. I know that, but look at it. Isn't that cool? And it's, it's a, it goes up and it's a bolo, right? Isn't that what they call it? Bolo. Yeah. Look at them. I don't know if it's real turquoise. This is not sterling. I tested it. There's the back. Get a look at it. Um, it doesn't say anything as far as I could see, but it's cool. And this material, I don't, it's some kind of fabric. I don't think that's, that's not leather or suede. It's cool though. I thought it was nice. So I got that. Um, this is pretty. This is, is my jump to, this is glass. I'm not going to worry about testing it. I will test it just for the hell of it. Why not? later i think it's glass though and this is a nice necklace let me show you close up then i'll get back into it. look how pretty that is looks like a citrine um i like citrine i believe it's glass though um this comes off it's an enhanced can be used on anything look how big it is and that's right there this is like this is how to me it's open construction this is costume it, it's very nice though 
I think it is. It's, it's a nice necklace. Oh, those are the Ross Simon. Did I call it Ross Simmons? Probably. Okay, so there's that um, necklace. I think it's pretty. This is glass, multiple glass, different. I like the color combination on this. We have the green, pink, and clear going on. And this one has like a little, like a coating on it, AB coating type thing going on there. It's long. It's a long strand. And the color's nice. I like the combo. So I'll test that one. I'm pretty certain it's just glass, even the way it's open on that piece. Um, well, it's not the stone itself. Look how it's set. It's actually pretty nice, but I don't know. I'll test it. Looks like glass to me, though. Okay. And this necklace, I think, is cool. I like the color combinations going on with it. The green, the pink, and the clear is nice, I think. This is a um, Roman, R-O-M-A-N, uh, jewelry. This is a bar pin. Look how pretty it is. See if that glows at all. Um, oh, yeah. A little bit of uranium right there on the green. I'll test these just to make sure. I don't know. Roman is usually crystal and gold-plated. R-O-M-A-N. It's a jewelry company. It's a really nice bar pin, actually. I like the colors. You have the red, a pink, like a purple, a green, and a yellow. And I'm pretty certain it's just crystals. They're clear. Um, it's quality jewelry. Costume jewelry. Gold plated and probably crystals. or Definitely not rhinestones. I'd say crystals. And that's channel set. Is that correct? Anybody want to correct me on that if anybody gets this far? I believe that's what it's called when it's sat like it. I have a, this bracelet. I think this is Avon. This is pretty nice, actually. Look. Let's see. They're all sat in there. And, um, decent sized. My wrist is six inches. And it could fit bigger than that. Um, it's nice. Look how they're sat in there. They're pronged and, like, sat like that on this flat. I think this might be Avon. I can't read exactly what it says. Let me pull it up. And you can look. Let me move. Is that in the right way? Hold on. Let me see. Can I make it bigger? Yeah, the three is the biggest it can get. Yeah, I think it's Avon. What do you think? That's what I think it is. It's a nice bangle. It looks, it's pretty, I mean, Avon had half, they do have gold jewelry. This is not gold. I'm not saying it is. I didn't test it though. I want to make sure. I was told by a jeweler that they, they had like real gold jewelry. I, well, I, I sold a, a pin. I, I took it to a, um, a pawn shop with some other gold. It was 10 carat. So they do have some. It's, it's back older jewelry. But anyways, this is more modern, I think. And I think it's plated if anything, but it looks amazing really. It's in great condition. I do think it's Avon, though. This is a 1928 pin, and I think these are matching earrings, actually. And they're on a little card the store had to my left. And look how pretty. You see, um, that has, like, the gold and the flower and the black. And look. If it's not matching, it matches well enough. Pierced earrings right there. And it's acrylic or plastic, and it's painted. That is painted on her. I can actually feel it. And the same thing with this. I think it's a little set. It's very pretty, don't you think? This is about two inches. And these are dropping about an inch and a half to two inches. Something, an inch and a half probably on these. Pretty. There's the back, see? This doesn't look like this in the back. These need clean. Like, need wiped off. It's, have smudges. It's nice. I thought it was nice costume. For, look at these kitties. Meow, meow. These look like the Cheshire Cat. Check them out. It says meow on the back. That's why I said that. It just says meow. With a cat inside of a box. Look at that. It looks like Sheba. Um, they're nice. I thought they were adorable. I didn't test them or anything. I think they're just, I mean, they're just a costume. Cute though, don't you think? Look at that cat. I thought they were going to be Laurel Birch. <laughs> they're not. They say meow. I guess that's, is that the company? A little stretch pretty. I can't pass it up when I see it. I'm controlling myself, though. 
Um, actually, I had a jewelry box, a box of jewelry, and I pulled this out of that. I didn't, I had to get rid of a third of it. It smelled like soy sauce, and it was disgusting. But I found that in there, and this. This is citrine, and that's suede leather. And I think that's sterling, although I have to test them out. But there's citrine inside of the heart. This is a little necklace, like, if you would. That was in there. I mean, that's nice. And... I only I can only take a couple things out of it. They wouldn't give me my money back. This wasn't from there. I bought this. Just multiple types of glass. Cat's eye. Um, in stone, I think. I, I, I have to look at it better, but a little look at this. It's cute. Somebody made this. This is a memory bracelet of all this glass. I think it's just, this is more modern by the looks of it, but it's still nice. There's that clay. I can't remember what it's called. Um nice little pieces it's a q here and an o at the other end i have no idea what that means but i thought it was cool let's see if it glows that does but that's plastic that star is plastic <laughs> and that one glows there's probably thread on the inside of it the one bead but look you got lamp work flowers and nice i think it's nice nice memory bracelet can, maybe somebody could take it about apart and make it into something else. Um, this is a tassel. This is pretty. This is somebody's, the brand name is on it. Um, Sakasha, Z-A-C-A-S-H-A, like Zakasha. Zakasha, I'm calling it. I don't know if we'll pronounce it. But nice glass coating on this glass it's pretty nice and a tassel it's silk it feels like silk you can fix this with a um i think a dryer sheet somebody had said so i'll do that anyways i thought this was nice i don't buy these kind of tassels a whole lot any longer i used to like like them a lot when i'd see them and then i they i don't know they don't sell well and i don't need that many for myself but um i mean they haven't in the past this one's beautiful it's all strung and knotted in between the glass that's brass on the tag, and this is so pretty. This is a base metal. It's nice, though. I gave Eva a lovely little charm. She might like this as well. This is base. This is silver tone. I gave her, um, somebody else likes an email me. I'll sell it. I'm not, or I'll bring it to Thrifty Thursday or something, but I gave her a little charm bracelet. Pretty, I think. Um, this is... So pearls and rhinestones, I thought they were nice. Again, they look like Sabika. I don't know if they are. Oh, I found a scarf clip. Look at this. Now, I, the scarf I'm wearing currently is way too thick to put through that. I guess you can, like, put a scarf through there or some kind of chain or faux pearls or real whatever. But anyways, pretty, isn't it? Smaller scarf would be easy to put in there and, like, to attach it, like, down, you know, like. It's nice. I burnt myself, guys. Cooking. All right, there's that. What else? This. I thought this was nice. Now, I don't think this is a belt. You know me. I try passing necklaces off as belts. This, <laughs> this is, this is silver tone, but I, it came out of the box of jewelry um, where I threw, uh, had to get rid of a lot of it. They won't give me my money back either. It just smelled so bad. It smelled like soy sauce. I cleaned this. Um, anyway, things clean better, but it's, it's nice. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Looks too small for a belt to me. It could be a belt, I guess, on something really tiny. But I figured it could be accessorized. Something could be hung off it or something. And that's it. Um, that's all I have. I mean, I think it's enough. Again, if you see anything you want to purchase from me out of this jewelry, email me, vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. I will be on again Monday or Tuesday doing another haul video. This video from today, Saturday here, and a video from Monday or Tuesday, depending on when my jewelry from online comes those are going to serve as my preview video since i do hauls all the time it's kind of redundant for me to come in and do a preview video as well so if there's anything that you really want and because i do sell when people contact me unless it's something i have to study like him i don't know what he is yet i have to look him up more that little funky guy here um but anyways contact me those videos will serve as my preview today's and my Monday or Tuesday, depending on which day I get it out. Okay, I hope everybody has a lovely, the rest of your Saturday evening and tomorrow. I hope you have a good relaxing day. And I will be back again, like I said, Monday or Tuesday. And then I'll see everybody on um, 
Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much. Have a lovely evening.